Mmm, what a biz up guys, I'm not gonna do my intro and stuff this time, I kind of wanna get into the topic, even though I'm just gonna do my intro, mm, what a biz up guys, it is your boy, Straight to Pippo, and today, you are probably looking at me, well, listening to me and thinking, mmm, what do we do in real talk, hashtag real talk, um, today we're gonna be talking about the EA handicap, and this guy doesn't look like he has a bad team, name Aldi, he's gonna have, he's gonna have a good team. Uh, um, I am, by the way, just a pre-warning before I do start the video, I will be posting a COD video, oh, for f I will be posting a COD video later on, so stay tuned to that, this guy's got an absolute godly team. My sweaty BPR team versus this, okay, doesn't matter, YOLO. Okay, yeah, I will have a COD video later on, so people who want to watch that, you know, just stay tuned. Um, but this video is not about COD, it's about the EA Handicap. Now, hopefully this team... That team doesn't seem too overpowered, though, that's the thing. Like, he's got Gibbs, for God's sake. So, I think he's kind of... He realises what the EA Handicap is. But anyway, oh, Sassignon. Ben Arthur on Sassignon. Nah, mate. But anyway, I want to talk about the EA Handicap. People think the EA Handicap exists, some people don't. I am for EA Handicap, I do think it does it does indeed exist. I have faced it myself back in FIFA 12. Uh, I had a team with Team of the Season, Marchisio, Perlo, Inform, Dinatali, I had Inform bloody... No, I had Ibra, I had Tiago Silva, I had Inform Buffon. Quality team, honestly. And I, I, even in this game, I had Messi, I've had you know ev loads of people before I got reset. And they felt so blimming bad, but this the, when people say oh handicap and then they then they lose to, from a bronze team, that's completely different. Like I I appreciate now why I have not got bronze team. This is probably the the ultimate team, quite literally. You probably can't get much better than this. Um, maybe having a bit of maybe do what he he's done. Maybe maybe not make it that obvious that you are trying to avoid handicap, but uh, oh. I do indeed think it is exist, you know, don't just take this from me, you're going to have to watch more than one video to understand what handicap is. It's basically when people with good teams are put at a disadvantage by the game, um, or the CPU, just because, you know, they've got a good team, automatically the game thinks they're a good player, and um, it gives them weakened stats, so say Messi have 99 dribbling, he'll probably have about an 80, uh, if Ronaldo has about 90 pace, probably feel about, he'll still say 90, but he'll probably have about, I don't know. I'm just going to see if we can take this free kick first. Hill will... Let's get Sassing Young on the ball. Oof. He'll probably have about an 80 pace. In, but he won't say that on anything. It'll just like... it. Just, this isn't present in career mode, in seasons, in anything else. Just ultimate team. Oh, no. Goal, fair enough. That's a goal. Yeah, it won't be present in ultimate team, seasons. Just in ultimate team. Um, I don't. I think I said ultimate team actually, but it does. Yeah, you you guys know what I mean. It is really annoying. It's possibly one of the most annoying things. Oh, especially guy press X is an obnoxious little wanker. Um, but yeah, it's the, honestly, it's I am convinced it's in here. Some type of scripting, some type of handicap is definitely in this game because it just feels so weak. Uh, I'm not sure if many of you guys have used good teams, but. Players who who have got pace like Muriel, if you plonk him in a team with like I don't know uh, Dino Tali, um oh come on, oh. and like Inform Marchisio and players kind of like that, you will definitely you know feel a handicap. That's why mixtures of gold and silver players are always good. Like so, if you got like a Wallison. And uh, let's say Wallace and Neymar on the same team, you're not bound to get handicapped because you've got a silver player in there. But if you have, you know, let's say Wallace and not Wallace, and, if you've got Neymar and I don't know, if there's any other really good strikers, maybe Pato, maybe it doesn't apply for Pato. You just feel so weak, and it's not like there's not like a set boundary. Like you'll be able to tell when a pl when a player feels uh, handicapped. Like it's it's pretty obvious. There isn't like a set boundary, but this is my interpretation of it and how I see it. Because um, it is one of the things that's broken in this game. As Morales, he's through, he's through, he's through, he's through, he's through, he's through, he's through. Oh, he's through, he's through. Oh, he's through. He's still through, but he's not through yet. Oh, come on, Kone. Oh. 
One second, so this is going to go on and I'll go back to the topic. Well, this could be a chance. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. People, I, I don't know why EA have done this in the game, because uh, it's kind of blatantly obvious when they banned the talk of scripting and um, handicapping their forums. That's they banned it. They they banned it in the forums. That's that that that's the moment when you realise this guy's got team in the ma man of the match, Javinia. How am I supposed to come like do anything against that? But yeah, they banned it in their forums, which basically means. There's little like um, chat things that goes on on their website on they and they banned the use of handicap scripting that kind of there solid solidates I think that's the word there is handicap in the game that kind of just just laying stone for what we already know knew you know I think this was back in FIFA 12 as well they they said that rule I'm not sure if it's the same now um, oh that's quality. Um, but yeah, they've banned the the word handicap. Oh, f stop that! Uh, yeah, they banned the w use of handicap, which kind of like if EA knew there wasn't a handicap in their game, they wouldn't have like said anything about it. Like they wouldn't uh, address the situation if people said there was handicap. They wouldn't have said anything. Like the fact, yeah, you know, non chemistry teams. Like they've said chemistry is a factor, and you know. I don't know, it kind of annoys me because people who have quality teams like this guy, who, I'm not going to lie, I, feel, I do feel like I've been doing quality against him. But pe not maybe not people like this guy, just even better teams. Just feels so bad. And maybe, it's, maybe people say, you know, it's because you're a bad player or maybe just because you're unlucky or maybe, you know, just because your morale's low or something across those lines. But trust me, from first-hand information, you guys can trust me. This guy's going to get a goal here. Yeah, you can guys can trust me first hand in FIFA 12 and FIFA 13. There was definitely a handicap, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's because it's one they want to support the weaker players. I'm not sure if it wants they want it's because they want to, you know, just I don't know. I, I actually don't know what it is and why they've put it in here. To be quite honest, it's just kind of a bit of a shambles, really. Oh no. But yeah, that's handicap. Uh, I'm gonna go a bit more into it in a minute. Uh, oh god, that's a header. This is my sweaty BPL team, by the way. Uh, I, I always keep this team just for fitness. I don't usually make two sides or like have a bench. I just usually rock it like this because that's just what I do. Um, I'm just gonna get it. Oh, we're free. Oh, ref, referee. But yeah, that's handicap. Um, we, like I said, EA haven't said like by themselves, oh, handicap exists. They did stand the other, but they have banned it from their forums, and that's the only thing that EA have said about handicap and scripting. Um, this is kind of like you know, like I said, I am convinced this is in the game. It doesn't really show now. Uh, I mean, this is kind of an even game. But you know, it's all based on ratings. Like in my, I think that's well. I think it's based on ratings. I'm not 100 percent sure on that actually. But um, if it is based on ratings, then this team isn't too great. Uh, to as a, as an example. Oh God! Wow! Come on. Tiote, make the run, Morales. Make the blaming run. Oh, come on! On the outside. Oh, goal. Ah, oh, this is a shame. That's why if you guys don't realise. There are so many sweaty Brazilian teams with Hulk and Wallace and in, uh, not Wallace and Wellington. Uh, if you guys didn't already know that, that's why. Because partly, oh shit, isn't it? Partly because people just win, want to win. I don't see what the problem is and why everyone moans about that. Oh come on! Oh, switch player then. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I don't see why many people. I have a problem when you get people getting sweaty because it tends to be like the better players don't really get sweaty because oh, no I'm not gonna lie if I want to win games I will win games uh, like this not this is a really bad example but if I I usually play for a bit of fun and I, it's kind of a bit like you know if you want to play for fun and you lose games that's not your fault you know if you lose games and you just play for a bit of fun that and everyone else wants to win that's not oh for fuck's sake and everyone else wants to win. What's the problem, you know? 
Like you're just playing for a bit of fun. Oh, he's just done the dead, the dead salmon on me. You know what's the problem if he's if everyone else is playing for fun and you're sweating it? It's like it kind of annoys me because people moan for the sake of it. Like honestly, that's what that's what I think it is. People just moan for the sake of it, and it just really annoys me. It really does. But uh, you know what you're gonna do? You can't do anything about it. Um, Oh, here we go, here we go. Some options now for the pass. Oh, Kone! Trying to get the goal back there, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's in the game. This has been a disappointing loss, but obviously this, this series is not about the gameplay. I have actually got some user-submitted questions for next episode. Oh. Come on. Yeah, I've got I've got a user submitted question for next episode. Uh, this is pre-recorded, so I I am recording this on uh, Thursday. So yeah, I will definitely get to them submitted questions next time I do this, which I'm not sure when it is, but uh, yeah. Oh, I'm probably you guys are probably watching this on a Saturday. If you're not, then I've probably I'm been away or something. But yeah, uh, I should have a COD video on later today, uh, if you are watching on Saturday. If you're not watching on Saturday, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, uh, I should have a COD video up today, though, because uh, I'm just feeling COD at the moment. No, no, it's double XP. Uh, I'm 10.55 now. Everything's going great. Rooney's getting a red card. I don't know why he's playing at centre mid, to be fair. We wouldn't be too bad at centre mid, would he? Oh, referee. Ref, um, bloody re. That's a turnover in play. Wonderful interception. Oh. Okay, that's that was a weird sound. And yes, just to remind you guys, uh, the, if you are, you know, kind of on the fence with scripting, I have a video in the description. Go into Nepenthes' video, I think it is, and I'll just talk about scripting and stuff, and you guys can, you know, go watch that for a better explanation. But that's basically, you know, what I want to talk about. Um, I, I don't know if you guys played FIFA 12. Probably most of you did. But um, from what Nepenthes has said. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, wait. I'll use a better example. This is a better example. Most of you guys, probably all of you guys, watch KSI. Now, last, last year in FIFA 12, he had a beast team. It was like Hulk team of the season, Thiago Silva team of the season. Day day team in the season, like loads of really good Brazilian players. I had like Kaká man of the match. I had loads of just voiced players. Um, if I, I'll link that one in the description instead of the, the Pemphez video. <sighs> Let's close that. And he lost two games on the truck. The first one he he lost Ronaldo. Then he bet he went double or nothing with his whole team. And I'm just like wow. And and he went double or nothing and he lost. That there, you can call KSI a bad player when he's not a bad player. I think he's in the final of the Kick TV thing. Oh, I've lost, I've lost three now. This is not a good example, but uh, yeah, I think he's in the Kick TV final, which proves he's not a bad player. He's beat people like Japes and stuff, and he lost the team. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna go off the team off the top of my head. I think it was Inform Helton. Left back was Team of the Season Marcelo. Right back, uh, Danny Alves. Centre backs with Day Day, I think it was Tiago Silva, probably was Tiago Silva. Kaka was CDM, t um, man of the match. Uh, le left mid was Ronaldo, right mid was Hulk. Up front, Falcao and Benzema, I think it was. And then it, I can't remember who was at camera, it might have been Javi Alonso. But then that was a squad I think I distinctly remember. I'm getting absolutely slaughtered. Absolutely slaughtered. Close him down well. The cross doesn't come in. Good defending. Get to the blue, man. Oh, my God. This is a terrible game. This is my first game in ages. I haven't played in ages. I'm selling the Brazil team, by the way. But, yeah, that's basically what handicap is. I'm not going to go for it anymore. I think I've covered the topic. We always have this kind of little area where I'm kind of th struggling with things to say. At the end of the video, I'll kind of t touch about a topic that has a quality. That's a goal, that's a goal, that's a goal, that's a goal. No way, mate. Come on, Kone, you can get that. Company's got nothing on you. But yeah, that's what handicap is. I think I've, uh, yeah, I think I've gone for it. And, you know, it does annoy me, honestly, it really does. Uh, 
EA, if you are watching this, take it out of the game. And you probably aren't watching this because I've only got, what, what, 24 subs? So, yes. That's it. That is it. Oh, Jesus Christ. But anyway, we are playing with the sweaty BPL team. The 3-5-2 BPL squad. Obviously not proven to well in this game. It's actually a really bad squad. Um, like, if I had Juan Mata... Maybe and uh, Fernando Tor Torrente. And this squad would be, 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 be so much better, man. Oh my god, it'd be so much better if I had a bit, a bit some better players. Maybe I had uh, Walcott instead of Valencia. I could d strengthen the squad like loads. Like I could just make this freaking boist. But um, I don't want to spend too much on my backup team, as that's for that's a goal. Oh my god, Sessing Young. That's ridiculous. But yeah, I don't really like to do Premier League teams because I feel, I feel like it's so overdone. Like, you see BPL sides everywhere. Like, if I do get a good BPL side, then I will share it with you guys because that's how I roll. And, you know, if I do, obviously, if that's if I do. Uh, if I get anyone good in my, one of my pack openings, I do. Which I am going to start a little road to messy pack opening series where, you know, I'll have a, it's, it's basically going to be normal pack openings. I just have a counter on how many packs I've opened and um, see how many till I hopefully get messy. And uh, hopefully that'll be funsies, man. I hope that'll be good, good, good. But yeah, that's been the hashtag Real Talk over. I will have a bit of cod up soon. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.